We never know what God has planned for us each day, and we have no idea how God will use us in his eternal plans. Sometimes what gets put on our plate is extremely hard to swallow, yet still we're called to obey. For the last two episodes, we've been talking about Abraham, the patriarch of our faith. One day, out of the blue, out of the blue for Abraham anyway, Abraham was called to do the most unthinkable, unfathomable thing any parent could be called to do, to kill his child. And he was called to do it by God. We can only imagine that there were a million things running through Abraham's mind. Why would God give them a son of promise only to have him killed by his own father sometime later? Wasn't murder against God's law? What was Sarah going to say? Despite all of these factors, Abraham gets up early the next morning, saddles his donkey, takes Isaac and a couple servants with him, and heads toward the place that God told him to sacrifice his son. And Chris, that brings us to our first foundational truth. We obey God because God is God. Now, granted, there are many reasons we obey God. A Christian will obey God more and more out of love for him, especially as they grow and deepen in their faith. But at the end of the day, when we come to a place where it's hard to obey, extremely hard in some circumstances, we obey God because God is God. 